top bosses. Today we are honored to have our top boss. And uh, as you know, we have been having several top bosses, but we have another very special top boss. And uh, today we invite her to our platform, which is Top Heights Electricals and Electricians. She'll be helping us in works that we do have. Serving our customers is our priority, providing quality services, as you already know. Now, Top Boss, yes. welcome to our platforms. Tell okay. us your name mm -hmm. and uh, what level of education you are studying. Okay. My name is Margaret Muraja. Mm -hmm. I am honored to be here in Top Heights and I'm looking forward to working with you. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm very honored. I have studied Diploma in Electrical Engineering. Yeah, yeah. incredible. So many ladies are not interested in uh, fixing stuff, you know, the handiwork, the technical things, and especially electrical, because you will just see wires and uh, someone will tell you that, you know what, there is something that is happening in that wire, but you can't see it physically. Why or how did you get interested in electrical as a lady? Um, for me, it's a call of passion. Mm -hmm. and I feel much at peace doing things with my hands mm -hmm. and fixing problems. Incredible. Yeah. So there are so many ladies out there who are probably asking, should I get into electrical? Should I not? They are doubting. So far in your studies, yeah. would you encourage someone, especially a lady that wants to venture into electrical, to yeah. do so? Yeah, for me, yes, I would encourage those ladies out there, mm -hmm. if you want to pursue electrical engineering, you can go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's nothing is too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I believe you. Actually, it is all about the mindset, the mentality. Yeah. If you believe that you can actually handle electrical connection, starting with the terms that you know, starting with uh, fixing, being handy, taking a tester. She has come with her tester mm. right here. <laughs> she also has a pliers, my top boss. So there is no excuse, especially for the top bosses, mm. the men who are in electrical. We normally insist that you must have tools. And for men, we start by this. Mm. This is a digital multimeter. No excuse. You also need to have this. Yes. No excuse also. <laughs> <laughs> incredible, incredible. So. Uh, before we get started to electrical works, because that is the main purpose of this uh, industry, mm -hmm. uh, tell us, where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? Okay. Um, for me, mm -hmm. I want to have my own brand, yes. in majoring in electrical engineering, maybe in supplies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also want to have a platform where I can offer internships and very, very ambitious. Majority of the top bosses only think about employment. <laughs> My friend, see the big minds reasoning here. Yeah. She wants to have her own brand. This is something that I've always yeah. insisted, especially on Facebook. I tell people, create a page, mm -hmm. register your company. Mm -hmm. With time, incorporate your company so that you can stand a better chance at getting a job even with the government, yeah. with the county government, mm -hmm. other companies will trust someone who has a registered company. But if you say, ah, mimi ni fundi, eh? <laughs> kazi yoyote, no one will risk their project with you. Yeah. So we normally say you have to be very serious, have a brand name, register mm -hmm. that name. And uh, you have heard that she has ambitions to help people get internships. Mm -hmm. Now, it is very important in anything that you are doing to always ensure that you help people. I always quote the late Dr. Miles Mundro when he says, leadership is important if you manufacture other leaders. You can't stay at the helm of everything and say that I'm a leader. The question is, did you produce a leader? Now, today we are producing a leader in electrical installations. Indeed. Tell us today. Yeah. We want to connect this instant shower. Mm -hmm. What are some of the mistakes that people commit when it comes to this instant shower? Connecting showers. Mm. 
not following the colors yes. the the way it's supposed to be live yeah. with live mm. add with add neutral mm. with neutral mm. Mm. awesome so today yeah. we are going to ensure that we follow that rule mm. and also uh, do quality connections now because electrical is purely practical let's get to work yes all right so yes. my talk bosses if you are finding value out of our today's session and you want to show some love to our talk boss and our guest today smash that like button and also if you are not subscribed to our youtube channel subscribe to it right now so we continued with our recording and margaret is really hands-on she loves to work with her hands right there with the tools and we were connecting this type of wiring very very common which flows from the consumer unit to one socket and then to another and that's it what type of socket is that or what type of socket wiring is that we know that we have a radio and a ring top boss let me know in the comment section so moving on we were able to also connect an instant shower we discussed the pros and cons of this type of circuit remember it is a heating circuit and uh, it is very important to always consider heating circuits when designing these electrical systems we have done a lot of connections here with our guest today who is now a top boss by the name margaret yeah. margaret how has the experience been so far and um, so far it has been good mm. and i am really practicing mm -hmm. a lot and learning a lot at the same time mm -hmm. yeah it's fun also yeah nice mm -hmm. we say that passion plays a key role in uh, this work mm -hmm. because if you hate it then it means that uh, you will not enjoy it and you will have a lot of challenge yeah so what role does passion play for you especially when handling electrical connections passion mm -hmm. passion is the driving you it's like mm. um boosting your energy and yes. making you want to learn more and more mm. mm. incredible because i actually asked you whether we can go for a lunch break <laughs> and you are like let's keep going let's keep going yeah, she's passionate me. there's a drive there's a fire in mm. her now we have done a lot of electrical connections but another angle to electrical which is very important mm -hmm. Is troubleshooting. troubleshooting. Why is troubleshooting important in electrical? Um, we troubleshoot to detect the cause of faults mm -hmm. and to to come up with a solution. Yes. Yeah. Incredible. So that is what we are going to do in our next phase. Top boss. If this is the type of content that you like, mm -hmm. and if today you are very very happy to see our top boss Margaret, don't deny her the likes. Show the love. And if you're there and you have not followed us, you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, Top Boss, do that right now. It was such a great honor having Margaret grace our show. In the next episode, we will be talking about electrical troubleshooting. Very important aspect when it comes to electrical engineering. Top Boss, do not miss this episode. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And if you are interested in learning with us, especially online courses in electrical as well as solar, check out our description for links to help you become a better you. My name is John Gatehi and this is Top Heights Electricals and Electricians. Goodbye for now.